Good morning, guys. It makes me vibes here. I just want to say I hope your day is going great so far. I hope it's filled with love and positivity, and I genuinely hope it's going your way. Such a calm and peaceful morning. Windy, yet still. I'm here on campus about to hang with a good mate of mine, but I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second. I really want to thank all of the love and support that I've been getting recently. I am I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed of uh, all the comments and just the love that people have been giving me and thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for watching the videos and commenting and, and rocking with the channel. I, I genuinely appreciate you guys and I hope everything goes great in your life. With that being said, I wanted to I wanted to talk just for a bit about the liminal space and primarily for those who feel in between synonymous with being lost but the liminal space a space that's not a beginning nor an end a space that feels loud yet the silence is 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 full of songs you know i've i've been in the liminal space i would say for the past 2 months uh, for those who are familiar, my friends, family watching, you know a certain thing happened, and, and I've I've really been in that liminal space of not knowing what's next, not knowing, you know, which way I should go, and like I said, that liminal space is it's vital, right? It allows us to surrender, and we end up having more more questions than answers. It's a space that you cannot rush. You can't tough it out. You know, you know, like as humans, our tenacity to go through adversity is bare to none. And it's something that you can't rush or toughen out or, or push past. You have to just go through the space. You know, it's, it's, it's a light at the end of the tunnel, and you have to just go through that darkness. And you can't even see the light. You just hope that there's a light. You know that there's a light, and you know that that space is, is vital because when you get to the other side and you finally get to that light, it's a breath of fresh air. It's, it's transformation. And... To be as compendious as I can, I think for me, that space posed a ton of questions. When I first, when I first arrived uh, at that space, honestly, a lot of guilt, shame, fear, anxiety, pain, arised in my head, and I could not get it out. I, I just constantly was in a state of man, like, how do I push past this? How do I, this does not feel good. This does not feel like something I should be going through. I, I question God so many times, Yahweh, why me? Why, why are you allowing me to go through such a thing? I've done the right thing. I'm doing the right thing by myself and others. Why am I being punished? It took time for me to, to really dig deep, go within my, my inner being, and allow things to unfold naturally and allow the answers to be answered, the questions to be answered. There's a lot of times where <laughs> we, we really don't have patience for things, right? Because, you know, in this go-getter, you know, rat race of, of this world, you know, there's a constant need for, for improvement right not just self improvement of course that's that's a different thing altogether but there's a need to 
be productive at all times. And my pro productivity uh, took a halt, a standstill. And I felt so much shame and guilt by that because I wasn't being as productive and was not not pushing past it. Um, but I just want you to know if you are in that liminal space of in between, of beginning and end, right? You, you don't know what's next. You don't know what's up or down. Your world might be feeling really turned upside down, honestly. You might be feeling like it'll never end, right? Time is tricky and sometimes in life, we're in a transit state, we're in a transitory state, which means that we are moving past or burning past what's there and moving into a new transition of life. And I know that can feel scary. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you, I know how scary that can feel. Um, but I just want to reassure you today that be still, be calm, be present, be aware. Allow yourself to move through the space knowing that you're going to get to the end of the tunnel. It might seem dark right now. It might seem like you can't breathe. You know, it might seem things feel heavy. But I just want to let you know that there's light. There's, there's truly light. And I want you to hold on to that idea. Okay. I had so many questions and I, I feel like they've been answered, but I trusted the universe. I trusted the process. I trusted Yahweh that this portion of my life, this time of my life, I just give it, I, I give it all to you and, and just trust that whatever's happening is going to happen. It's for my greater good. And I just kept that positive attitude no matter what, no matter what the 3D showed me, no matter what people said, no matter what uh, things I saw online about, you know, uh, just the negativity of it, I, I, I try not to react to that and really just keep that mindset of, of moving forward. So with that being said, I've been reading a book, as you guys know, called Paul's Rest B. And I wanted to read some pages out of the book, some quotes, I think that really helped me really grasp the idea of this liminal space. Okay, so if you wouldn't mind, just for a second, I'm just going to read about five to six pages, slowly, attentively. And I want you to hear my voice and really ponder, reflect, and concentrate on what I'm saying. Okay, because I, I, if this can help maybe one to two people, I think, I think it'll, it'll do some good. So, you're not lost. You're here to reorient your way to the path that is truly yours to walk. How many titles have you claimed? How many distinctions have you been given? How much of it felt unreal and false? Like you were wearing a suit that impressed everybody else, but it barely fit you. You are allowed to change as many times as you need to become your authentic self. There is no way to apply existing logic here. There is no sense or no meaning to take. There is no normal to idealize and place on a pedestal. There is only the ground you're sitting on, and even if that feels like it's crumbling, sink into the ground. You are a seed. You are in an unfamiliar place. You meticulously packed your bags for the journey. You thought that you had a map, a compass, or guide. It turns out, only thing that you have is your senses. If that is all you have, trust. It is enough. 
you can't muscle through this. This requires surrender. Surrender does not mean giving up. It is giving over. A giving over to something or someone with everlasting arms that you can lean into and be held by. Call in grace. How to make friends with what you fear. Face it. Look it in the eye. Breathe with it. Say, hello? How are you? Why are you here right now? And listen to the answers. The truth is that the most courageous are ever brought this far deep into the unknown. The ones who are willing to face the darkness within themselves and the world to understand the level of light needed to move forward. You are here because you are one of the courageous ones. I'm going to read that again. This is the last quote. The truth is, is that only the most courageous are ever brought this far and deep into the unknown. The ones who are willing to face the darkness within themselves and the world to understand the level of light needed to move forward. You are here because you are one of the most courageous ones. Hmm. Thank you guys. I, I, I truly appreciate you again for watching the channel. And I just, just know that I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. Honestly, I'm going to leave my contact in the description below, as I always do. If you guys would like to talk, I'm here. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you have a great day. And remember, this space is only transitory, okay? I know it feels dark, but you got this, because I believe in you, okay? All right, have a good day.